It was a picture perfect late April day with temperatures climbing into the 70s, well into the 70s. A live look downtown at this gorgeous sun filled day. Steve's here and we heard Ed Curran reference it too. Steve changes on the way more seasonal. Yeah, unfortunately we get one more day of warmth, Rob, but then we get showers and rain on the same day. And then after that, bottom sort of drops out and we're not going to have temperatures like the ones that are behind me now. I've been getting reports from weather watchers and look at these summer light weather conditions we've got. Here's an 82 and that is from Bob Dennis. He's in Grant Park, Illinois. Uh, the winds are 15 to 20 miles an hour, but I bet that breeze feels good. Even the shoreline, it's cooler by the lake downtown, but then you go up to the north shore around Evanston where Hank is at 74 degrees. Another beautiful day there. 51 for the dew point. Dew point's a little bit higher than it has been and you'll notice that it might feel a little bit more humid and uh, summer like as well. Here's Kennedy in Manuka reached the 80 degree temperature mark in Manuka with a nice southeast breeze. There's mention of that breeze again. So what's that breeze going to blow into town? Let's continue and see what's on the way. By the way, here's that uh, official market O'Hare 78. Okay, thunderstorms is what those south winds are going to help bring on Wednesday. And then after that, uh, we're going to have the temperatures not look like they'll be tomorrow. Tomorrow we still have a chance of hitting the low to mid 70s. I think 74 degrees by five o'clock in the afternoon. Other locations, if you live near Gary, 78, 76 in Joliet, Cal City, 75 tomorrow. But let's take a look at what this rain is all about. Showers on the morning rush hour. That's eight, nine o'clock in the morning. You'll see a line of showers, maybe some embedded thunder showers. And here's tomorrow evening. There could be some rain scattered around for the evening rush as well. I think a lot of that heavier rain might be late at night and through the overnight hours. We're really not going to dry out until sometime in the early afternoon on Thursday. In fact, we're going to have a, several days of clouds around here. And it looks like the heaviest rain estimates will be south of the city. But if you're under one of these bigger thunderstorms, you could get more than these totals, but the skew is south and east. And what are we concerned about aside from the rain? Hail and some gusty winds are possibilities. If we get any kind of weather alerts, we will certainly keep you informed about that. But right now, everything is quiet, and the big weather show is still well to the west of us with that storm center and the front that's associated with it. And look at what's on the other side of it. We're still talking about winter weather advisories in places like up around International Fall. So that's a little taste of the, just the taste of that cool weather headed in this direction. 60 overnight tonight, cool, mostly cloudy. Howdy, uh, nothing really stirring until tomorrow. Goodbye, 70s. We loved you. 58 on Thursday, low 60s Friday, and you get the picture uh, over the weekend. Some of the warmest weather only be 60 degrees. Lots of clouds coming up, Rob. I'm going to savor what's left of today and dream again of those 70s. <laughs> Let's embrace it. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. Appreciate it.